Well, a friend of mine <coughs> had instructions for uh, Hornet MA4, and that's what I have, not the dual stack. But that's what it cost back in the day. He said that I didn't have the other parts of the... Uh, I'm going to just kind of go slow. I might zoom in on some things for people to uh, take a look at. So... Oh. Go a little slow here, so if you want to pause it. See this gamma match oh, assembly. This is like plexiglass on the one I have. But the only thing we don't have, oh yeah, we do. Uh, we don't have the lengths. It gives you the spacing. But my elements are all riveted, so I can go out and, you know, measure them, the lengths of each one, and then write it down on this paper. Uh-oh. Yeah. So, I guess, if anybody needs anything else, like the element length, I just have to go out and measure each one. Uh, but yeah, it was nice of my friend to print this out for me, because I think he had one back in the day. And he knew the people uh, where this antenna came from. So, the, where I took it down there uh, two weeks ago. So, this was nice to find because I cannot find anything in a Google search on a Hornet antenna. I didn't even know what model it was. So, uh, but here you go. Yeah. I just thought it was kind of neat. Let's see. It actually looks better on the video. Looking at it through my phone as I'm, you know. So... <clears throat> If anybody needed any information, uh, apparently this is a model MA4. So, I guess you go by 55 watts talk power. Well, that's assuming 4 watts in. So, if you're putting 200 watts in, what would that be at the uh, assumed talk power? Mm-hmm. Or 500 watts in. Mm -hmm. I guess it's like how Mako did the uh, power multiplication, whatever, but yeah, pretty neat stuff here.